fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. I am the first and I am the last. And beside me there is no God. Uh, once again, everything I've been told to expose is Satan's kingdom. Uh, Allah is the God of, unfortunately, those that have been deceived. I'm going to show you, I'm always showing you the abomination that causes desolation. It's the serpent seed or the alien inside the human genome. I want to show you how to perceive this in negative imagery first. Here's the eye. Here's the other eye. There's a star. This is a star. And when we move this, you'll see there's a pupil in it. It's in negative imagery right now. So we've inverted the colors. There's the eye. There's the eye. There's the mouth. This is a collective consciousness. It's the same as the street sign for San Antonio that has the alien on it. It's the same as the image of the Grateful Dead. It's the exact same concept. Washington Monument too. There's the right side up seed intersecting with the upside down seed. And in the middle it forms the all-seeing eye, which is what gave Satan his eye in humanity. Here's the all-seeing eye right here. Um, this is the interconnection of the two sets. And if you study this yourself, you'll see that it interconnects the right side up and the upside down, which is everything I've been trying to show you. I want to show you down here, there's a goat, which represents the devil. There's the eye. There's the eye. These are the ears coming out and the horns. There's an, there's an alien head here. The eyes are right here. They're white. Those are the eyes. This is the top of the head. Here's the eye in white. Here's the other eye in white. Going down to the mouth. As I move it, you'll be able to see it. See how easy it is to see? One to them who call black, white, and white, black. It's an alien facing that way. And it's a goat right there underneath. Same thing up here. Here's the large alien head. Here's the eyes are in the mouth. And it's the collective consciousness of the right side up and the upside down. And that's the Quran you're looking at. You're looking at the Quran. And they said when the sun rises over the west, the Mahdi has come. Look at the logo for Mr. Obama. It's the sun rising over the west. So we're here not to pick on any one particular religion, but to show you that they are all tracing back to you, that old serpent, Satan. The devil, the deceiver, he has created all of these false religions, these man-made, satanically inspired, man-made religions, as evidenced here. John of Potmos, who saw the visions um, that Jesus gave him and he wrote the book of Revelation in 70 AD. When he was shown the mark of the beast and the number, it was in a foreign language to him at the time and he just wrote down what he saw. And what he wrote was the Greek number 666 here as he wrote it. And as you can see, it is a, <laughs> it is an eerie match for the phrase in the name of Allah. And there is even, uh, it even looks like a serpent to me. I mean, here it is. And, and the Arabic language was not officially recorded as being a written down language until 512 AD. So John saw this and wrote it in 70 AD. And then 500 years later, we have the phrase, in the name of Allah. Here's the eye of the alien, right there. This represents the nose, right there at the bottom of the head. Top of the head, right there, it's pretty obvious. You know, if anyone was just gonna draw an alien, that'd be a pretty good one, pretty easy to see. But let's see what this really is. This kid is wearing a shirt that says, Castle Hills, 
Awana Olympic. This is a church. Okay, we're gonna make this very clear for the Grammy Awards. Alien, alien, alien equals abomination. I'll put an alien up on the screen now. I went ahead and gave this alien what I, uh, what a lot of insects have are called omatidia. Uh, insects that have that are in hives like wasps, bees, ants. They have eyes like that. That's a characteristic of hive type um, insects. I want to show you guys some. There you go. There's your abomination, and that's what a lot of people worship. And that's what a lot of people worship is the abomination that causes desolation, makes desolate the temple of God. There you go, just keep right on top of it. And there it is, right in your face. We'll give you a close up of that so you can see how obvious and ridiculous it is. We're going to give you guys some more um, imagery of the abomination is an alien inside the human temple, the temple of God. And it's made desolate, the temple of God, and it's time for the destruction to come. It's got to be burned. Um, we'll show you also Katy Perry's video a little bit, but if you look at Beyonce's video, it's just pure and utterly disgusting, and it's fornication. Now listen, don't condemn Beyonce, okay? I don't want everyone to hate on Beyonce. That's not what this is intended to do. You should pray for Beyonce. She is taken by the enemy, and she is literally wearing, you know, a, an image of the abomination on her rear end, and a lot of people worship that, and so it's just an outward manifestation once again of that spiritual world, and it's manifesting so much right now that they don't even care about hiding it. As a matter of fact, they're flaunting it. And when you look at the lyrics to Katy Perry's song, Dark Horse, you're going to understand how they're bringing it to you. They want to bring it. They want this to come because they think it's their victory when it's their defeat. And those of us that are Christians, we have our faith in Christ and we know it's our victory. And it's going to be a, it's going to turn everything upside down when it happens. It's going to be mind blowing the way it is poetic justice.